tight. Let's see if we're here. Good morning, everyone. I hope you can all see us. Hi, good morning. Is everyone here? I hope so. Sorry for the wait. I was having a little bit of technical difficulty, but I'm so glad to have everybody here right now. Okay. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Let me move this chair out of the way so everybody can see what's going on. And maybe you can just give me a thumbs up. Good morning. Hi. Yes. Great. Daniela and Leo are here. Ratisha's kids are here. Fantastic. Again, I'm so sorry for the wait this morning. We're in for a really fun day today. Going to learn lots of new things. Wait maybe 30 seconds for some more friends to join us. Good morning, Julia. How are you this morning? Julia's here too. Here they're a little bit too comfy, aren't they? Hi, hi from Artaza and Manor. How are you this morning? Good to have you here, guys. Yay! More and more friends keep joining us. We want to make sure everyone's here before we sing our good morning songs. We'll do the names. We'll do everybody's names really soon. Just going to get a few more friends joining us. Again, I apologize for the wait. Thank you, everyone, for being so patient with me. That's wonderful. Okay. So I think we shall get started. Shall we get started, friends? Are you ready, Sarah Grace? Are you ready, Mateo? Okay, good. So good morning, and my name is Marsha, and welcome to Weebies Learning Center. So glad to have you here with us. I am an ECE, that's an early childhood educator and a Montessori teacher, and I absolutely love teaching children. So that's what I'm here today to do with you. I'm here to have some fun, teach you some new things, and hopefully we can all learn together. Shall we start off with our good morning song? Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. Are you ready? Are you ready? Sing with me. Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Hello, everybody. We're glad you came. Where's my backup voices? Glad you came. Glad you came. Hello, everybody. We're glad you came. Glad you came today. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Can we try that again together? We'll do more. Good. And happy. Good. And when we link our fingers together, it's friend. So the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Are you ready for the good morning train? It's a big one. Everybody get on the train. We'll sing. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo, the good morning train is coming. Good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo, and we'll say hello to everyone. How are you? Choo choo, and we'll say hello to everyone. How are you? Choo choo, and we'll say hello to everyone. And we'll say hello to everyone. And we'll say hello to everyone. How are you? Choo choo. We have so many friends joining us today. And I wanted you actually to be able to see your name. Some friends couldn't see their name on our name wall last time. It was a little bit not clear enough. So I've done something new. Watch this. Okay, are you ready? <gasps> Jacob. Good morning to Emma and Allison. Alicia. Eileen. Maddie, good morning to Reese and Amina and Zainab. Good morning to Leanna and Abigail, Athena, Julia, our new friend, Bushan. 
Kasim and Arham are here again today. Joao is here. Good morning. Peyton. Chloe and Ethan. And another Ethan and Victoria. We have Daniela and Leo. Good morning, Diego. Good morning, Leah. Yeah. Calvin. Good morning, Pearl. And Alicia. And Andy and Kylie. You girls just had a great workout, I'm sure. Harper. Sophia. Good morning to Liana. And some friends who just joined right now, we have Larks. We have Ada. We have Henry. Daniela and Leo, I think I got you guys. And Serenity. Good morning, everyone. Oh, but we cannot forget our very special guests from Miss Kolzak's class at the Bowville Aboriginal Head Start School in Saskatchewan. We'll learn where Saskatchewan is later today when we do our provinces of Canada. So good morning, everyone. It's so wonderful to have you with us. If I missed your name, please type it in and send it to me and I will definitely call out your name. Oh, we have Sage here. Good morning, Sage. And we have Grace. Good morning, Grace. We have Julia. Hi from Ethan and Victoria again. Good morning. Hi, Serenity. Hi, Madison, too. Thank you all for joining us today. It's so wonderful to have you here. Let's take a look. I wanted to show you something else. This is our clock, okay? And our clock, well, we were supposed to start at 11 o'clock today, but I was a little bit late with some problems with my computer. So when, when the big hand... <laughs> Oh dear, that was funny. <laughs> I should have realized the puzzle pieces would fall out, but there's still numbers here. When the big hand is at the 12, it means o'clock. And when the little hand is pointing to the 11, it means it is, thank you goodness for my helpers, 11 o'clock. So right now, if I take a look, it's actually 10 minutes, 10 minutes past 11. Thank you so much, Mateo, for helping me with my numbers. And one, two, and oh, one, two, and one, two, and the red one and the blue one yes. attacks yes. goes in the same place like this. Yes. What time is that? When the red and the blue one both point up at the same time, it is, what's that number? Twelve. It is twelve o'clock. And then... Oh, and then it's time for lunchtime. That's right. Does everyone eat at 12 o'clock or around that time? Okay. So there's a couple of friends here. I know. We're not done yet, though. I'm so glad that everybody loves seeing their names. Let's go do some more songs over here. Everybody come sit with me, okay? Can you tell me? Can you have a seat? We did our hello song. We did our good morning song. The days of the weeks and the months of the year. We'll do that too. But let's sing Mr. Sun first. That's okay, Mateo. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Again, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the trees. These little children are asking me to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. And we say, whoopsie. I should have said, whoopsie, when all of my calendar or my clock pieces fell on the ground. So we are going to do something. I just gave the clue away. What's this big yellow thing behind us called? A calendar. And the days of the week says the month of the year. Oh, she answered my next question. The calendar tells me two main things. It tells me the, the days, days of the week. The days of the month of the year. Thank you, Mrs. Papa. <laughs> that was very good. Would you like to dress up for your friends? I'm sure that they would love to see our little friend, Mrs. B, help me with the calendar. She's a busy bee. She's buzzing all over the place. Oh, don't forget your hat and your antenna. There we go. There's our friend. <laughs> good morning. 
And my little friend needs a special counter, right? But can I tell you something, little bee? Something looks different over here. Can you come and take a look? Come stand over here so all your friends can see. Oh, look, friends, it says April, but there's no numbers on my calendar. What happened? You know what? We say bye-bye April, bye-bye April, bye-bye April. We're sad to see you go. But we'll see you next year. We'll see you next year. We'll see you next year. It's sad to see you go. But you know what? You know what comes after April? It starts with mmm. It's May. So you say hello to May. Hello to May. Hello to May. We're glad to have you here. Be you or we're glad to have May here. Remember, in showers bring May flowers. But that means that we have to start and figure out what the day is. We're missing all of our numbers. So Friday was the first. Can you put that on Friday? For number one, Friday. Very good. What comes after number? Oh, there's no flowers in that picture. You're right. What comes after one, everybody? No flowers right now. Oh, there's no flowers right now. Well, they will start to bloom very soon. So now we've got all of our flowers, they're not flowers, they're shapes. We've got all of our shapes ready and we can start singing our song. Okay, would you like to sing with me? Who can tell me how many days are in one week? Seven. Very good, friends. Get your fingers ready. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It is Monday, it is Monday, it is Monday today. It is Monday, it is Monday, it is Monday all day. So if it is Monday, what number comes after number three? After Sunday is Monday, so after three is? Four. So go grab that. And let's do the days of the week in French. Avec les Paul with our shoulders, okay, everybody? Can you put number four on little B so we can sing it in French? Now you sing in French with me, okay? Avec les Paul, ready? Are you ready, Sierra? And the mardi, mercredi, Jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Lundi, mardi, mercredi. Jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Bravo, mes amis. Clap your neck on sac. Clap your hands like this. This is a sign language clap. Do you have any wings to clap? <laughs> now let's try the months of the year. Go get your hands ready. Are you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June. July and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Good job. Now let's clap when we hear the word May. Let's sing it again. Are you ready? January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Wow, everybody, you are great singers. You're really learning lots today. Okay, so we know that it's Monday, we know that it's May. Hmm, what are we missing? May the 4th, that's a special <laughs> fun day for some people. Oh, not yet, That's that will be tomorrow. Same with the mile is tomorrow, 5th of May. Oh, I know what we need to do. You know what we need to do, Sierra Grace? Stand up. Let's talk about the seasons. How many seasons are there? Everybody show me. Summer, like you're wiping the sweat off your forehead. It's so hot in the summertime. And spring, the flowers bloom. Beautiful spring. Look at winter. Winter, we get two W's for what, what, and we shake them down because the snow falls. Oh, and fall or autumn, we have our tree and the leaves fall. So let's sing summer, spring, 
winter, fall. These are seasons for in all. Look outside and you will see just what season it will be. So what season are we in, friends? Is it summer? No, not yet. Is it spring? Mm. Yes, it is spring. Very good. So let's say the date all together. Are you ready, Sarah Grace? Stand back. Let's see if you can do it. Repeat after me. Today is? Mm -hmm. No, everybody's going to repeat nicely, nice and loud with me, okay? I want to hear all my friends. Today is? Mm -hmm. Monday. Mm -hmm. She's speaking in B. May mm -hmm. the 4th. Mm -hmm. 2020, or 2020 as some people say. Good job, everybody. And the bee's gonna come down and give you a little mm -hmm. kiss on the nose. Okay, can you take the bee costume off and put it back in our special treasure chest? Yes, thank I you. I to speak to so I speak in B. She knows how to speak B. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, let's see if we can do O Canada. That's a very important one. And look over here. Can you find whoops, the Canadian flag? Oh, I was going to show my friends. Let's see if they can pick it out. Can you see the Canadian flag in there, friends? Right. And what color is it? Rouge et blanche. En français, rouge et blanche. That is white and red. Okay, so you're going to hold this one? We'll put this away. And we'll hold this one. Would you like to hold it or mommy? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody stand up nice and tall. Stand at attention. Hands beside our, at our sides. Feet together. We stand on guard or at attention for a beautiful Canada. Are you ready? Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all of us command. Bon oh dear, I'm seeing in French right now. <gasps> this is so embarrassing. In all, okay, let's try again. Oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see you rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you for not laughing when Mommy made a mistake, you know? Sometimes that happens. We all make mistakes in life. Sometimes we forget the lyrics of a song. Sometimes we forget how to say certain words. But you are very kind and not to make fun, right? Because it's not nice if someone makes fun of you when you make a mistake, right? Sometimes it's silly, but you just keep going and you keep trying or you start over again until you get it right. So thanks. That was really nice of you. And thank you all as well. Let's see if we have some more. Oh, Sylvia, thank you. We have Sylvia Ferrero. Oh, great. We have lots of friends with us. Okay. Oh, and we have Ava and Madeline as well, too. Absolutely. Okay. And Hannah and Rebecca are here as well, too. Okay. So, friends, you might want to get a piece of paper. Uh, if your mommy or daddy uh, could get you a piece of paper, maybe a blank piece of paper, and a marker or a crown, we'll give you a couple seconds to... To get that, if you'd like, you can um, draw along with us. We'll be doing some work on the whiteboard today. In the meantime, let's learn a little bit about this song. Can you pass me that over there, Sierra, please? Do you know what this is called? Sierra's got something special to show you guys. Now, hopefully, I'll do better this time and not drop it. But here we go. Here we have our map of Canada. Pretty cool, huh? Thank you. And I have a song that goes like this. The provinces of Canada are fun to remember. Fun to remember. Fun to remember. The provinces of Canada are fun to remember. Fun to remember. So sing them with me. We're going to start way over here. Everybody say Newfoundland. Good. Say P-E-I. Say Nova Scotia. And New Brunswick. 
Say Quebec. Watch your hands. Quebec. Say Ontario. From there, you'll see Manitoba. Watch your hand, honey. Saskatchewan. That's where our friends are from. Alberta. BC stands for British Columbia. I know Zainab and Amina used to live in British Columbia. We have Yukon Territories, Northwest Territories, and none of us. So let's put it all together and make a sign. Keep your hands like that so your friends can see, okay? Ready? The provinces of Canada are fun to remember. Fun to remember. Fun to remember. The provinces of Canada are fun to remember. Fun to remember. So sing them with me. Newfoundland and PEI. Nova Scotia, oh, and New Brunswick, Quebec, Ontario, from there you'll see, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, BC. Don't forget the Yukon Territory and Northwest Territory. Don't forget none of that. This is Canada. My goodness, friends, that was incredible. Thank you, Sierra Grace. That was wonderful. Good singing. I loved it. And I'm going to show your friends one more time. Thank you very much. Oh, well, she's better at this than I am. <laughs> okay, so did everybody get a piece of paper and a marker or a pen? Okay, so we can get started over here. We're going to have fun with phonics today. Oh my goodness, my helper is helping me once again. Thank goodness. So let me put everything back. It's always good to tidy up when you make a bit of a mess. Let's put this over here. House. <laughs> yeah. Very important. Thank you very oopsies. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. Whoa, can everybody see that? Okay. So what do we need now? You guys can pretend that you have a piece of paper or if you do have a piece of paper, you can work along right with us. So I'm just gonna put that down like that. My assistant has gotten my markers. Thank you very much, dear. Okay, so do you know that the names and letters of the alphabet have a name and sound? And that's what vow, oops, that's what phonics is all about. So let me see, yes, thank you, Sierra. That's what phonics is all about. Phonics, the letters have a name and a sound. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, the sounds of letters. So we have this. You know that A, but A also makes a sound. Hold on a minute. A makes a sound called ah, ah. Let me try. What's another one? E, and C, C, C. Is that C? And e. E. E makes a sound called eh, eh. If you know your letters, you can write them on the board, but I'll teach you how to do them later if you don't. Back a minute. In a minute. I, I says it, and I'm going to make a short sound, a, a short mark. That's kind of like, it looks like a little happy face, but it reminds me that makes a short sound. A, E, I, O, um, O says ah, ah. Can everybody say ah? One more time. And ah, ah. So Sierra wants to make hers. You can make yours at the end over there, okay? And I'm going to sing the song with you. It goes like this. A says a, ah, a, ah. E says a, ah, a, ah. I says e, 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 e. O says a, ah, a, ah. U says a, ah, a, ah. I know my vowels, so do you. Good job, friends. Okay, I'm going to show you, hmm, what else can we do on here? Oh, I know. I was going to show you some of the Montessori materials. So Sierra's gonna finish writing her vowels. Ah, ah, I, ah, good, with a short little mark on top. That means it makes it short sound because vowels can make long and short sounds. They're so cool. Ah, and you looks exactly the same. Fantastic, Sierra Grace. And you guys can send me yours later on if you wanna show me that you're writing out your vowels. And if not, that's okay too. Not everybody's writing right now, but we're all learning together, that's for sure. Okay, beautiful, Sierra. So now I wanna show my friends some more activities. 
and we need the sandpaper numbers. Can we go get, oh, sorry, sandpaper letters. Ooh, my classroom is falling apart. <laughs> Here we go. So everybody say, ah. Ah, good. Everybody say, eh. Good. Everybody say, eh. Good. Everybody say, ah. Good. And everybody say, ah. Very good. Fantastic. So these letters, they're called sandpaper letters. Do you know why? Because they feel like very, very smooth and soft sandpaper. Yeah, because on the back, it takes sand. Well, on the back, it's very, um, very smooth. But basically what this does is it helps us to learn the formation of the letter. So I'm going to hold it here. Again, in Montessori, we would do this very differently. We'd do everything from a table. You wait for the next one. But I'm going to show you here how we trace with two fingers. And we make start right here. And we go down, around, up, and straight down. I never lifted my fingers. Sometimes we like to do a circle with a stick. But sometimes the circle and the stick don't match. So if we keep our fingers together and we never lift up our fingers, circle up and down, if we, we can make a beautiful A. Ah, fantastic. A ah, for key. apple. Let's try another one. And then we'll play a game with these letters. Okay. A. Ah. Can you show everybody how we do A? Ah? Very good, Sierra Gray. So we go out and then up around and down and say eh. Everybody say eh. Eh for elephant. Okay, can we try another one? Oh, Sierra's going to show you over here. This is it. Eh. So trace with two fingers. Down and dot. Very good. It eh for igloo. Let's try this one. Remember we start at the top and we go down. The other way down very good and around and that is ah i think someone's taking over my kindergarten class <laughs> my little assistant turn it the other way for ah ah there we go and up we start on which side it's hard to look in the camera and do it backwards right <laughs> down around up and straight down very good so friends and mommies you can make these cards at home you can actually just trace these words, okay, Sierra, trace these letters on pieces of paper, and then you can get your child to trace them with their fingers. So we don't need that one right now. I'm gonna show them something special to do, okay? We're gonna put this down a little bit. Okay. Can you move over? <laughs> so, well, we can do this. So let's sing the song again one more time. Ah. 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 Ih. Ah. We're gonna have to put them together a little bit more. Ah, ah, eh. ih. Not enough room over here. Ah uh, and ah. Uh. So let's sing the song together, okay, friends? Ready? A, a sound. Okay, you have to stand here so the friends can see, okay? Stand behind over here. Stand behind. And then you can point with the pointer. Ready? A, a says ah, ah. E says eh, eh. I says it, 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 it. O says ah, ah. U says ah. Uh, I know my vowels, so do you. Okay, friends, I'm going to take one away. I'm going to take one away, and you're going to tell me which one is missing today. So everybody, close your eyes. Close your eyes, no peeking. Okay. Who can tell me? Open your eyes. Which one did I take away? Don't tell your friends. Let's see if they can guess. Hi, Chloe. Good morning. Hi. Hi, Marilyn. You're right. We took away ah. Ah for apple. Okay, close your eyes again. Sarah, want to take one away? I'll hold the pointer. No peeking. Go oh, quickly. Quickly take one. Okay, everybody take a look. And if we don't know what's missing, let's sing the song. A says ah, ah. B says ah, ah. I. I says eh. These are fun games you can do. Okay, let's try one more. I'm going to take one more away. Everybody close your eyes. And go ahead. Oh, I showed you which one I was taking away. Can you guess which one I took away? Ah, ah, or umbrella. Very good. Now, here's another game that you can play. That's the 
What's missing, gang? That's okay. You can have them, guys. This is a different game. This is called the knock-knock game. So I've turned them all over, and I'm going to knock. And then when I knock, you say, who's there? Knock-knock. Did you say who's there? Oh, tell me, who's this? Eh. Very good. E says eh. Eh. Like elephant. Okay, I'll do another one. Close your eyes. Oh, no, you don't have to close your eyes. Actually, you have to look. Knock, knock. You say, who's there? Oh, it was upside down. What's this one? Ah. Ah. You says ah. Very good, friends. Okay, let me try another one. Oh, wow, everybody shouted. Who's there? Eh. Very good. Eh for igloo. Good job. Okay, two more. Say, who's there? A. A says, ah, ah. So when we do phonics, we try to just do the sound of the letters and not the name. So it helps the children to read later. And our last one, knock, knock. Say, who's there? Ah, ah. Oh, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for doing that with me. I'm going to put these away in our sandpaper letters. Let's see. Oh, is it 11.35 already? Time goes by so fast over here. Okay, now we're going to try to write on your paper, okay? So let's see if we can do that. And let's bring back our whiteboard. And I'm going to show you the formation again. Of our letters. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do ah. So we're going to start here, make a little dot, and we're going to do circle up and down. Remember, just like we did over here, we did circle up and down. Can you make ah? Let's try another one. Remember, ah. So we go out, up, and around. Let's try it here. Out, up, and around. You might want to give your kids a starting point where they can start with the letter. Very good, friends. How about if? If is down, dot. Let's try it. So give them a little starting point, and they go down, dot. Very good. If it's hard for your children to do this, you can also uh, write the letters in a yellow highlighter and then get them to trace. So the mummies would make a mark like this in yellow. Also give them a starting point. You want to give them a starting point in a different color like that. And then they would just trace right over top of it. Okay, we have two more. Let's try this one. Ah, so give them a starting point. And we're gonna go down and up and stop. Good job. And the last one is up. There we go. Starting point down, up, and down. And there we have our short vowels. Ah, eh, it, ah, ah. Good job. While we have our paper with us, can we try some of our shapes from last time? Who remembers um, how to draw? A triangle. One line, two lines, and connect them across. There's my triangle. Let's try a circle. A circle is pretty easy sometimes. Wow, very good. How about a square? The way I do a square, I make two lines like this, and then I attach them like that and to make a rectangle i do two lines but i make them far apart like that and then i attach them so we have triangle circle square rectangle what other shape is there sierra there's a heart a heart is a very tricky one to draw I you might of, need to trace it I'm a couple of, of times i kind of know how to make a heart but i forgot that's okay. And these are all our uh, 2D shapes because they're all flat. So, I know how to do it. It's like this. You remember how to do it? 
Okay, let's try a couple blends on the board. I wanted to teach my friends some blends. Can you go and get me a tissue so I can wipe this off the board? I forgot to get a tissue to wipe, and I wanted all my friends to see. Maybe I can use something. You can not make the heart. Yeah, just have to bother make the... Sorry, everybody. I'm just going to get a tissue. I'm going to erase all of this work for you okay. really quickly. And now we're going to try something new. So watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Good girl. Okay. I don't know if everybody can see me. Okay. We're going to try something making a blend. So a blend is a consonant and a vowel. So everybody, b, b. Good. And if I add a vowel, it starts to make a blend. So here we have b, a, b, a, b. Ah, bah. Is that a word? It sounds like a word that a sheep makes, but it's actually a blend. Let's try a different letter. Mmm. Let's blend them together. Mmm, ah, mmm, ah, mmm, ah, ma. Good job. And one last one. This is the s sound. So we have s, ah, s, ah, yes. Uh, so we'll do more with our blends later on, but I think I want to show you some more beginning sounds because beginning sounds are really the way that we learn to begin to read. So let's put this back. Let's get our chart. Oh, and I think you guys will like this. Okay, are you ready? I think you'll like this. I have a special chart here. It has all the different letters on it. Okay, can you see that well? Good. That's the beginning sound. But inside this box, oh my goodness, I have some wonderful, wonderful things. Let's take a look. Okay. There's little objects in here, and I have to match the object to the proper square. So, b basket would go here. B, b basket. What do I have here? What's this? For candy cane. I'll put it right there for, for candy cane. What's this, everyone? Look at this fun object. Pizza! Who loves pizza? I love pizza. P -p -p. We have to find p and put it for pizza. Very good. Let's move this back a little bit, Sarah, so everybody can see. Okay. Let's try another one. What's this? Who can tell me what this is? Aha. Uh -huh. A heart. A <laughs> heart. A heart. I borrowed it from your from your room. I did. Oh, who knows what these are? These bananas. are delicious. B B for banana. So we have two for the book. And we can keep going on and on. Oh, what is this one? I like this one. Can you show me, buddy? This is a d dog. Let's put the doggy over here. And what else do we have? Oh, this is very, very cute. You see this outside sometimes? This is a t tree. Tree. So we have t oh. for tree. Oh. So you can gather objects around your house. Little pieces of, oh, for Lego. You can make a chart and then you can learn all the beginning sounds. We have so many. We can't do all of them because I want to do some book readings with my friends. Okay? C for cow. So we have cow and candy cane. Maybe the cow ate the candy cane. Wouldn't that be silly? And then we'll put them all back in our special little All back in our special little But let's learn the sounds of the letters. See ya. Let's learn the sounds of the letters with our friends right now, okay? Put it back over here. Okay, here we go. Everybody repeat after me. B, B, D, Dog, F, Elephant, Fish, G, Gorilla, horse, I, igloo, j, jaguar, k, kangaroo, o, lion, I, I, I. Mm. can you repeat after me? Mm, for mouse, mm, for nest, ah. Ah, uh, for octopus. Qu for quail. 
Mm -hmm. Er for rabbit. Mm -hmm. For seal. And for Sierra. And for Sierra. Mm -hmm. T for turtle. Ah, umbrella. Mm, violin. W watermelon. X, X ray. Y, yak. And Z for zebra. My goodness, friend, you did such a good job listening today. I'm so impressed. I have a little book I would like to read to you before I go. We have about two more minutes. Shall we quickly look at our shapes, our, our flags? Do you remember this flag? What's the name of this flag? Mexico. And this was Canada. This is our lesson from last uh, last week. And this one, United States of America. Very good. So let's match them. Where does this one go? First, oops. First, second, or third? Right over here. Mex oops. I keep doing it in the wrong spot. Mexico. Good. And this one. Canada. And our last one, United States of America. Good job. It's good to review things every now and then, right? Helps keep our brains nice and smart. Now, what about this one? I'm going to read you a book called Peace on Earth, but it's called Peas. Peas on Earth. Do you like to eat peas? Peas are delicious. Let's read this book quickly, okay? He doesn't like being online. Okay, so my son left because he doesn't like being online. Okay, well, you sit with me. What if there really was peas on earth? Not just two peas in a pod like us, but peas everywhere. What do you mean? A world filled, let the kids see, a, see what the kids see. A world filled with love and peas where everyone and everything got along. That sounds peaceful. Peas on earth is when everyone is best friends, like peanut butter and jelly, milk and cookies, and salt and pepper. Uh, uh, Isn't that cute? Yes, uh, pepper does cute. make us sneeze uh, sometimes. Cute. Uh, cute. Uh, cute. Uh, don't forget best friends share. Sharing is caring. Right, and no biting or fighting. Can you move back a little bit, sweetheart, so your friends can see? I think they can see the book. But pillow fights are okay as long as you're gentle, tickle, tickle. Peas on earth is when dogs get along with cats and cats get along with mice and mice share their cheese with elephants. Thank you. And pigs give everyone piggyback rides. Wouldn't that be funny if pigs gave piggyback rides? Do you think a pig can have an elephant on its back plus a cat plus a dog? That seems so silly. <laughs> It's when giraffes help turtles reach the tippy top of trees and ants say bless you when anteaters sneeze. Oh, well, that's very polite. And everyone says to them, please. Don't you mean peas? Huh? It's when vegetables taste just like candy, like apple pie and carrot. Mmm, delicious. Everyone getting along. It's we can play all day and it only rains when we're sleeping and we can make snow that never melt. Wouldn't that be mean. When everyone is nice and nobody is mean. When the air is clean, clear and our water is clean. When the skies are blue and the trees are always green. Peace on earth seems pretty perfect. Yes, let there be peace. Give peace. Yes. Beautiful. Please don't touch you. And that is our class for today. I want to thank everyone for joining us. It's been so much fun having you here. And, um, and I hope you join me on Friday when I do a book reading of my book that I wrote. It's called, I'm going to show you here, Weebies and the Bee Attitudes. And this is one of my characters from my book. So we have a really special day on Friday. Yes, we are. We're going to read my book and we're going to dance. And we're going to learn about so many wonderful things, how we can be kind to one another and we can be loving and sharing and loving for one another. So again, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye, everyone. 
I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Did we forget to dance? I know sometimes I go on too long, but we'll dance on Friday for sure, okay? Bye, friends. Bye. Hope to see you soon. Um, let me know if you like the, the class, and uh, I'd love to see you all again. Take care. Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I forgot to add something. I'm still live. I forgot to add um, L Dance. L Dance, Lisa Oberman is fantastic. And I hope you guys had a chance to uh, go to her class today. You should check that out. I have a post on my, um, on my Facebook page. She is incredible, full of energy, and she does live classes from her house uh, just before my class. She does every Monday at 10.30. So feel free to check her out and join, okay? Hope to talk to you soon. Bye.